Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm out in my driveway working on my mom's car. And I've kind of already diagnosed the problem. And I want to show you guys um, a very unique test that I've used over the years to find problems. It's called voltage drop test. So everybody has taken your multimeter and gotten that's 11.7, so the battery's a little low. Everybody's done that test. Well, with the voltage drop test, you actually test the meter in series with the wire that you want to test. So I want to verify how much voltage is coming from this battery terminal to this wire. These two wires are the wires that's the problem in the car. So a voltage drop, basically whatever high resistance is in this wire, whatever voltage can't go through that wire actually goes through the meter. So the higher the number you read here, the worse the connection. So I have the key on inside the car right now. <coughs> so the first test is to verify that I have a good connection here at the battery terminal. So if I touch the center here, and touch the post. Zero, zero, zero. If I use my finger for a probe and I touch it, you can see the number is higher, so that's a bad connection. So all it's going to let me do is say, okay, I can actually clamp this onto the battery terminal because between here and here is a great connection. So I've eliminated that point there. So now I can go around and I can probe these wires. So now this wire I'm probing, 0 0.005, 0 0.009, and on the other side of this plug here, point zero nine two. Normally that's not a problem. So now let's find out what happens when you start the engine. Now I've already tested this. I know there's a problem. I actually have. So this terminal is 75 degrees. Everything under the hood now is 75, 76 degrees. This thing got so hot I couldn't touch it. So eventually that's going to melt that plug. It's because there's a bad connection there. <clears throat> If you just use a voltmeter, you won't find it. So let me start the engine. It's a little hard to start because of this connection, so I may have to start it, run around, rev it up, get it to where it's idling, and then we'll slowly start testing everything. Let's see, yeah, you can read that meter. So while we're warming the engine up, I can feel this wire, the smaller wire here is the wire going to the inside of the car, this diffuse link, and I can feel it getting hot. Yeah. So I just wanted to test and see how much voltage drop was it from the alternator to the battery. So I'm going to put this one on the battery positive. So now, there's our voltage at the battery. Should be 
be higher. But I'm going to touch the alternator terminal, the output terminal. So there's three tenths of a volt that's not making it to the battery, through the battery cable. Alright, so I kind of shoot the battery there. We're at 80 degrees. The air box right beside it, 82, 81. Now I'll shoot the actual connector. So it is building heat. Okay, so now we are on the back side of this connector. And what was 150 millivolt or yes, millivolts is now almost a quarter volt. You almost can't hold on to that wire now. Hundred and twenty five degrees. One twenty five. Now we've only been running this engine about 15 minutes. You can imagine how hot that would get riding down the road. I do have the headlights on, but if you had your uh, cooling fans running, headlights on, wipers on, that's a lot of current and a lot of heat build up. So the connector is like 115. There's 121 degrees on the connector. And 96, 97 on the actual spade on the battery. So the bad connection is inside here, for sure. So I'll take it all apart, we'll look at the pieces, clean it all up, and uh, see, we'll see if that helps. All right, so here's our connector that was getting hot. Or if I do believe, this is the fuse link. So this is the end that was connected to the end line. And looking inside here, it's not too awfully bad. You can see the little white inside there. And looking at the other end, This is the end that was getting really hot. So the good thing about it is the connector is not all brown and rusty where it's lost its uh, connectivity. When they get all powdery and brown and rusty, they're almost impossible to save. This one's actually possible to save. I have this little tool that has the braces on the end. So we'll actually sand the inside of that, clean it real well, pack it full of uh, lithium grease. I don't have any dielectric grease. And then we'll put this one back on. You can see this one, the lithium grease is actually still intact and it's not discolored. The grease on this one, this is the charge cable, is kind of crusted 
and nasty looking. So we'll clean all that up and we'll wire brush this spade connector here. So we'll do all that off camera, clean it up, put it together, and then do a second test. See how we did. Alright, so for the update, I've taken all the connectors apart and cleaned them. <clears throat> and even the plug, the connectors, I've washed them down with purple power. When I get done with the purple power, I have a mixture of warm water and baking soda, about a 30%, 20% mix. So now all these parts have been soaking in baking soda and water to neutralize any acids. So now, oh, and here's the connector, all cleaned up. And we've actually test fitted it onto this terminal here. So that's real good and tight. And that one's real good and tight. Same way with this connector is actually this little spade. This goes on here and we'll make sure this fits good and tight on there. We'll put some grease on them, put it all back together and rerun the test. So we got all the connections cleaned up, thoroughly cleaned up and they're packed full of white lithium grease to keep the moisture out. So we have our meter set back up, so let's do the same test again. Alright, so the car is warmed up, same amount of time that we ran it before. All the connections are cleaned, uh, the headlights are on. We have 0 .03, so let's turn the uh, headlights off and see if that changes. Not a whole lot, it still changed, so that's uh, a big difference from where it was. So now, while we're watching this, let's check that alternator terminal. The output on the alternator. That's improved, 0.18 volts. All right, so now we can continue our diagnostics. And I know what you may be saying, we haven't checked the ground side yet. So let's do that. So there's connection from the nut to the post. Let's see. Can you see that? You cannot see that. There we go. Move the... That's good connection from here to here. So let's try right here. We're good. Try it on a frame piece. There's a body piece, 0.06. So now since I'm doing computer diagnostics, I don't know if there's an issue with the computer ground. It's on the intake over here. Oh yeah. That's one ground for the computer. There's the other ground to the computer. Alright, so we're good there. Here's the intake manifold. So the grounds are good as well. So now I can continue the diagnostics on this car of the running issue. And until you fix the basic problems, you can't continue with the running part. So the voltage drop test is probably one of the more accurate tests that you can do to tell how good your connections are. So start at the basics, get your battery cable and everything working first and then you can finish from there. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.
one last bit of information I forgot. So we have uh, 86 degrees at the battery post. Ninety one. So that's a uh, considerable improvement, and the wire is cool. So we're we're good there.